Hello and welcome here to this room on TriHack Me. It is called Mr. Fisher. And I've been having it running for some time. I need to do some stuff in my house and I just came back and let's solve this room now here on TriHack Me. It is still called Mr. Fisher. Now, um, we received a suspicious mail with a very weird looking attachment. It keeps on asking me to enable macros, one of those. So I opened up the um, machine here and we have the uh, the folder of Mr. Fisher document and the zip file which contains the document. Now let's just open the document itself and see what happens. Okay, so it tells us this document contains macros and we could enable those. If we do that, we will be, you know, vulnerable. So let's just click okay for now. And this is the this is the file we get and and let's go to tools and let's go to macros and then edit macros and then under the document in I think it's modules we have this macro here called um, it's called uh, well, there's this function called format now I don't really understand this code very well because this is visual basic so what we're gonna do is basically help ourselves with a web page that I have right here. I had an idea that we were doing some visual basic conversions. So what I would do is say which lines do I need? Now I'm pretty sure this this is the script because there's nothing else inside of these folders here. There's this document is empty. So this is the this is the um, this is the macro that is enabled, and we can look in all the other folders as well, and we see nothing. So this is a script, and we need to convert that. I guess this is going to give us our flag. Now it looks like it does something with XOR and stuff like that, and we kind of need to kind of convert it to something we can run on Linux. So what I'm going to do is um, basically go to the web page here. I'm going to copy paste this line because that line is the one I don't understand in Visual Basic that well. So let's just go back here. Can I pull it in? What? There we go. I guess just take it there and just convert it. And what it does is just converting this to something we can use in Python. And basically, this is the code. So let's, uh, this is going to be small C in, in, in Python. So let's convert this. And all this is gonna be there are some slight differences because um, the A is, is probably an array and this is gonna be called so we're gonna get the error of it, it is not callable so let's uh, copy paste this and put it into a Python script and see if we convert this and get an actual flag maybe we should copy the code here let's see copy to our own machine there we go because we need to have this some sort of array here and uh, it's going to be a tuple i think it's going to be all right so let's go to the terminal um let's do in let's do a touch uh let's just j.py and nano into j.py let's do an array called a equal to no let's copy paste it one more time Whoop. There you go. So this is our tuple, and then let's do a for i in range, and then do length of a, that's length of a. There we go. And then let's do the line we got just from before. So I'm gonna paste that in. Now we have a problem here. So first of all, we're filling up a variable called b. Let's create the b variable equal to nothing. And on this line here, let's print b. So we get the content out. So this loop is gonna loop through all the values we have. And we literally just converted the code. Now this is gonna be a problem because we're gonna make a a variable and we're gonna call that. So we're gonna replace the, with the uh, square brackets because we're gonna access its index. Let's see if this, this works. So let's do python3 uh, a dot pi, j, sorry, dot pi. And we got our flag. So let's copy paste this. 
back to the machine and we solve the room. Now this is pretty easy. Um, I was surprised this was just it. So basically what I did is I, I, I copied the code. I let me just see if I can find the window one more time. I used this conversion tool here to convert to convert any visual basic code to Python for me to use because I literally just you know oh, couldn't do this so I needed to 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 convert it so I, I did the conversion and remember that um, you cannot call functions directly from a variable in Python so so we place the um, parentheses to square brackets instead. So we're going to access this index and this is going to be X odd in some way converted to a character and we're going to add on like B equal to itself plus whatever next character there is here. And, and it, it just looks like ASCII. It does. I'm, 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 uh, yeah. But this is the way you can solve it and, and this is the Python way, the way that I feel is the best. I really hope you learned something in this room. If you did so, please subscribe, like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I'm going to return back as fast as I can. So until next time, have a nice day. Bye bye.